Hi there, it's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, we're going to review the rules for carrying liquids in your carry-on bag and provide some tips to help make the process easier and more efficient. Carrying toiletries while traveling can be a challenge, especially if you don't like checking in a bag. With all the security restrictions around liquids and rules on the amounts, it can make for a confusing situation. So today, we're gonna to review the rules and share some tips to make the process a little less stressful. So, let's start with the rules. In the US, TSA has a guideline known as 311. The rules basically say that you're limited to liquid containers that are no more than 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters in volume, and they all must fit in a one quart bag. Lastly, each passenger is limited to only one bag. This includes liquids, aerosols, gels, creams, and paste. Any liquid food items must also follow this process. The only exceptions are medications and infant and child nourishments, like uh, formula or milk. One quart isn't much room to work with, so here's some tips to help make the process easier. Number one, use reusable silicone and plastic containers. Finding travel size toiletries is tough, especially if you like a specific product or brand and they don't offer a travel size version. Luckily, there's a great way to get around this. I use GoTubes and GoTub containers that allow me to pack whatever I want. GoTubes are great for liquids and GoTubs are good for thicker creams and lotions. They allow me to pack whatever I want without having to go find the equivalent travel size version. There are a ton of versions of these products online, some with better reviews than others, so I think they all pretty much do the same thing. Number two, carry your toiletries in a plastic bag. While you can get a durable and reusable plastic bag for your toiletries, all you really need is a Ziploc bag. In fact, I recommend the one quart Ziploc slider bags that have an expandable bottom. It allows you to efficiently place small bottles into the bag without any problems. Also, since these bags are fairly cheap, I carry a couple of them with me while traveling in case my toiletry bag breaks or something leaks inside. The bags are just handy to have for all sorts of situations. Number three, separate your toiletries into liquids and non-liquids. It's easy to run out of room if you try to stick all your toiletries into one quart size bag. So I recommend separating your items into liquids and solids. The solid items aren't subject to TSA rules, so you can keep them in a separate bag. This way, you only need to focus on getting your liquids into your quart size bag. Number four, reuse old travel size bottles. If you have travel size toiletries that you purchased at the store or picked up at the hotel, consider reusing them again. It's easy just to toss them out, but you can often reuse or refill them for future trips. Number five, use plastic wrap if you're short on space. If you find yourself struggling to pack all your liquids into one bag, a useful trick is to use press and seal plastic wrap to create a compact and disposable version of your toiletries. The bags allow you to create leak-proof and airtight seals, which is ideal for your liquid toiletries. This can save a lot of room in your liquids bag and can be an easy and efficient way to use space. Do you have any tips or tricks when packing liquids for your carry-on bag? If so, please share them in the comment section below. We've included Amazon links to some of the products mentioned in this video. TripAstute does get a percentage if you use our links. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps us to continue building content for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for travel articles, updates, and contests. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.